Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Really? Really? No be so, no be so. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. See, see, see. I know. I know. <laughs> Don't kill me at this point. I know. I've been away for so long. See, do you know, I cannot even believe that I've been off for one year and, and about seven months. How? Like, I literally had this realization like a week ago and I was astonished. I've been away for so long. I know. It's been crazy, but yes, that's why I'm here, okay? That is why I am back with the spice, with the gist, with the everything, okay? So guys, I'm so happy to be back. Um, this is me in January 2024, and I'm ready to take over the world, yes. Anyway, so um, like I can see from the caption of this video, this is a live update. I mean, what has been happening for the past one year and seven months or so. And then it's also like a testimony video, but this is not like the main testimony. The main testimony is going to come eventually. See, I am very, very ready for this YouTube this year. You see this year? Hey, I am not dulling. I am not sleeping on any bicycle. I am here to stay. But then again, this is sort of like an intro video and it's, it's, it's story time. Yes, it is story time, but we're not going deep into the story because the story is a testimony and I don't feel like it's the right time yet. And then this is also to just tell you guys about my new life in Christ Jesus. Yes, there's been a lot of change that has happened in almost two years now. And I am so happy and so ready to share with you guys everything that has been happening. So yeah, sit back, relax, and let's get right into the tea. So like I said, I've been away since April 2022 and I cannot believe it has been that long. Two whole years ago was the last time I posted my last video and I must say a lot has happened in that space from then up until now, January 2022. And I forgot to mention, this is also a BTS of my birthday. My birthday is in a few days, February 3rd, baby. So um, you're gonna be seeing the BTS of that, but I'll do the story time first and then we get into the BTS of my birthday shoot. So let's take it up from 2022. Yeah, I was away and a lot happened in 2022. 2022 was a year that started great for me with so much optimism, so much positive energy. A lot of things seemed right, so to speak. And yeah, I used that energy to just, you know, take on the year. But along the line, <laughs> my life had a spiral. Like it was from zero to 100 real quick or from 100 to zero real quick. Like it was a turning point in my life that I had not seen coming at that time. So yeah, what happened? So at the time I was in a relationship and the relationship seemed to have some prospects and you know things were going on in the relationship normal relationship vibes and then all of a sudden i experienced my first ever heartbreak like that was the year i was heartbroken in my whole 30 years of living that was the first time ever i had an actual real life heartbreak that was the first time i knew what it felt like for somebody to be heartbroken yeah, I went through that phase and that led to several breakups. Talk about relationship breakup happened and friendship breakups happened as well. Not breakup, breakups. So it was bad. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, so it started with the whole relationship issues and then it's transcended into my friendship. So my then best friend, you know, there was a whole mix up, entanglement, misunderstanding, all kinds of problems. And my life was just, ex I, was, I was literally going through so much emotionally. 
it was the the relationship had started everything with the heartbreak and everything trying to talk to so many people i need advice should i go should i stay should i go should i stay should i go should i stay and then eventually i decided okay i'm going to stay i'm going to you know move on from the hurts move on from the pain and i'll stay and that cost me my friendship but p.s no regrets with that friendship being over i must say that because that whole incident made me realize that that friendship was i don't know i don't know if i would call it a a a i, I don't even know the right word to use to describe that friendship but it opened my eyes to so many things i realized that people can really switch up on you at any time and at any given opportunity and when people feel like you hurt them just look out look out for the signs of things people do when they feel like you hurt them those were the defining moments for me and i just had to let that friendship go so i do not regret that's just putting it out there after that friendship was over i sort of reconciled back into my relationship and i yeah like i said i just felt like there was prospect so we were working on so many things so towards the end of 2022 i had lost my friend my friend and other friends sadly but i mean i guess it had to happen um so the relationship had transcended from not just being a relationship anymore to <laughs> to a higher level so that happened and then it just seemed as if the worst started happening after that everything just started becoming a disaster there was no happiness in my life there was no peace there was no understanding i was literally losing my mind in the relationship um families got involved things be begun to be to become so bad i lost my self-confidence i started getting depressed I was having a lot of mood swings. I'm happy one minute, the next minute I'm unhappy. I lost my peace. I didn't even know what peace felt like because for the longest I had not had peace about anything. I'm still going to get into that because it's very, very important for us to understand that peace of mind is truly a gift from God. We all know that Jesus is the Prince of Peace and it is of recent I truly understood what having genuine peace was. But yeah, like I said, end of 2022 was a disaster for me. The year didn't end well. I just felt like everything was falling apart, but I was just trying to hold on to a thin thread. So that happened and then 2023 came in and I was trying to be positive, you know, new year, new vibes, new year, new me kind of energy. So I was just trying to be positive about the new year but <laughs> it seemed as if the moment i entered 2023 the devil was standing right before me and he he just it's like he just had a remote control and he was out to destroy me i always say this to people that that don't want to hear my story that 2023 was a year that was designed to destroy me but i'm here to say today that you see god god is truly a deliverer God is truly a defender. God is truly there and he truly fights for his people. In 2023, January, one year now, I was suicidal. Yes, I just have to put it out there. I don't like saying this, but I only say it to the few people who chose to hear my story or few people who wanted to, you know, talk to me and, you know, who, people who, who wanted me to open up to them so they can advise me. Yeah. That year, I was contemplating if life was even worth it anymore. And I don't know what would have become of me, but I'm happy God took me out of that space. I felt like so many people were already in my business because it was as if the friendship breakup that happened was a medium for a lot of gists about me and my private life and my battles to go around. So it was sort of like a circus where a lot of stuff was just going on and I just didn't have control over my circumstance. So I was really tired. And then the relationship that I was in was also going through it. It was bad, very, very bad, very bad. Talk about fighting every day, no peace at all, no happiness, no joy, no reason for wanting to talk to the person that you seem to always be happy to talk to. It was just like all the, pe the people I thought I'll do forever with. Everything was just crashing. 
And it was so devastating because I've never experienced that in my entire life before. And I wouldn't even wish it for my enemy because I was losing my mind. I had lost a sense of myself. Like I had, I didn't even, I couldn't even recognize myself anymore. I spent half my days crying. I spent half my days just in my room not going anywhere not doing anything and i was just losing my mind so i was thinking the best way to end everything is not to just die and all this will be over now let me tell you how i was able to get out of that phase now this is the part where i'm getting to the is it second or third part of this video how i found jesus how i how i found the lord he was right there but i was not paying attention so you guys Let's get into this part of the video. So during that whole phase of darkness and sadness, I had come to a realization that I was truly tired of my circumstance. I was tired of my state of mind. I was tired of being depressed, being sad and angry at my life. I was very tired. So I knew I had only one option. Talking to people was not going to help me. I know there are some people who go to therapy and their problems are solved, but I'm going to tell you this and I guarantee you, if it doesn't work, please come back. Come back, come and find me. In fact, call me out if this doesn't work. I'm telling you, Jesus was my answer and I am not joking. See, I am going to give it up to MFM. I'm putting it out there. Mountain of Fire Ministries. Please, if you have heard of that church, don't play with that church, oh. You see that ministry? Don't play with it. If you need help, if you need help, if you want, if you want to find Jesus, if you want to find the Lord, and if you just need an environment where you can conducively do that, go to MFM. But we will get there. We will get there. So, in the tiredness state that I was in, I remember I was alone in my room. It was in the night, sometime around 9 p.m., and I was crying, I was done. I told God I was done. I didn't want to do this anymore. I wouldn't say that in 2022, when everything started, I was not praying. I was praying, but I was not committed to the lifestyle of prayer and committed fully into living a life that was in alignment with the will of God and pleasing God through my actions. Let me tell you something. If you want to find God, you have to run away from sin. And if you are living in sin, and you are chasing God at the same time, you may not, <laughs> it's only by mercy that you find solution to your problem. But if you truly tell God to help you out of your situation, whatever sinful, sinful act or whatever it is that you are engaging in, and then you focus fully on letting God just take the will, trust me, God will come through for you. And this is based on experience. I'm not telling you somebody else's experience, I'm telling you how it worked for me. So I went on my knees and I told God that I was tired and I was done. I didn't even have the words to pray or to say. I just told God, I said, God, you know that I've not had peace for the longest. I have literally been a shadow of myself. And at this point, I need you to just step into my case and help me. And let me tell you, if you don't have any words to say, if you are in your downest times and you don't have any words to say, God, help me is enough prayer for God to come through for you. And that's what happened. So I started committing to praying a lot. I started committing to solitude. I started committing to just being away from noise, being away from just going out, partying, just engaging in frivolous activities. And I was committing more into reading my Bible and praying because I truly wanted to hear from God. Let me tell you guys something. God is the owner of your life. He's the only person that knows how to handle your life for you. He's the best manager anyone can have. He's the one that created us. So he's the only person that knows where to start from when it comes to your case. So I, 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 I came to the realization of that and I fully committed my problems to him and I told him, you have to help me now because I cannot help myself. I'm losing it. And I kept doing that for days. And on a very wonderful day, I will say this in my full testimony, but God spoke to me, guys. Yeah, God spoke to me. I heard the voice of God loud and clear. He told me everything that I needed to do. It would come in the full testimony. And he also told me, 
Because I had to find out, I had to ask God, God, should I stay in this relationship or I should leave? Because at this point, I'm confused. I, I, I know it hurts to leave, but it hurts more to stay. And I didn't, I was tired of the hurting process. And God spoke to me loud and clear early in the morning, 6 a.m. on the 13th of March, 2023. And God told me to separate. Yeah. He told me, I heard it loud and clear. And you know the thing about following God, obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice when you are following God. It takes, it takes nothing for you to obey God. I know it's, it can be very, very difficult, but it's better that you obey than do things your own way. So even though it was the most painful decision of my life, letting go, I just had to. And I did. I had to say goodbye to that relationship. It wasn't easy, but it was, it was something that I had to do because the owner of my life, the king of my destiny, told me to separate, and I did. It was painful. It was very, very painful. I would not even lie. But I knew that obeying God was just the best step for me, so I had to. So I obeyed God, and I left, and I started chasing God with all my strength and my might. So yeah, big shout out to MFM, Mountain of Fire Prayer Ministries. This video is, a, in fact, is an endorsement. That ground is holy ground. If you have issues, go there. See, I'm telling you, deliverance is not only for people who have demons and spirits. So please clear that, erase that idea from your head. Deliverance is for anybody going through anything at all. You can be delivered from poverty. You can be delivered from generational curses. You can be delivered from the spirit of anger. You can be delivered from addiction, pornography addiction, any kind of addiction, whatever it is, you can be delivered from lust. So that ground, if you have issues, please, <clears throat> Don't sleep on yourself. Don't sleep on your destiny. I had to go there and I found my deliverance. Guys, I'm telling you, I went for my deliverance on the 21st of March, 2023. And when I came out, my life was not the same again. I am saying it to your hearing. The Gloria that went in there was not the Gloria that came out. I went in there broken. I went in there shattered. I went in there unhappy. I went in there confused. I went in there a shadow of myself. I went in there depressed, suicidal. I came out and it was as if the light of God had shone upon my life. I was not the same again. I had, see, let me tell you guys, eh, following God, Jesus is the Prince of Peace for a reason. He will give you peace that surpasses understanding. Guys, let me just read this verse to you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your case to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. This is exactly what happened to me. God took away the pain and replaced it with peace. He took away my mourning and replaced it with joy. He took away my sadness. He took away my depression and replaced it with purpose. He just, he just, he just, he redecorated and redesigned my life. And I am not even kidding you. This is the main essence for this video. See you guys, my life has changed. I've not been the same person. I'm going to be celebrating one year of rededicating my life back to God and being fully born again, living in the will of God for my life. And my life has been sweet. I kid you not. See, I'm not telling you that you're not going to have problems in this life if you give your life to Christ. No, even Jesus said it in the Bible that in this world, you, you, you go through so many troubles, but do not be afraid. I have overcome the world. Problems are going to come. Of course, you are in the world. This is a wicked world. You will have problems. But Jesus, once you are doing your life with God, he will just, he will be, in fact, he will be, he will be carrying you through the hurdles of life. And he does it in a very seamless way. That's the best person to manage your life. I kid you not. I'm going to have another video where I'm going to truly talk about the healing process because my healing was a very fast one. A lot of people thought it would take me a year. Somebody told me, really, I know you are going through a lot. It might take you six months. Bruh, it did not take me any six months. It took me less than one month for my head to, to reset back to normal. And I am not kidding. I had one of the fastest healing processes ever for somebody who went through what I went through. Like I said, I'm just giving you the preamble. 
in the main testimony video, I'm going into detail. So you guys are going to understand truly the depth of my suffering in this period. But the way God lifted me up, it was, it was just amazing. And I'm here to encourage somebody out there. And I want, I want you guys to know something, right? There is no situation in this life that you cannot come out from. I am just, I'm just saying this, putting this out there for somebody who needs to hear it. There's absolutely nothing you cannot come out from. God forbid, imagine I had killed myself. <laughs> Will I be here today living this life, this beautiful life? Look at how fantastic and beautiful I'm looking. Will I be here doing this? Will I be here inspiring somebody? Will I be here sharing my story to, you know, inspire one or two people out there? No. Like there's so much ahead of us and you just need to tap into your divine destiny. And how would you do that? It's only by acknowledging that you are a sinner and going to God in spirit and in truth. Tell God, God already knows your life, but you have to still confess and tell him to take over. And when you are going to God, let me also tell you guys, when you are going to God, don't go to God with a preconceived idea of what you want him to do for you. If you want, maybe you have a plan and you want God to give you a yes. And you are praying, but in your mind, you are saying, God, I want it to be yes. No. When you are going to God or when you want to face God, whatever idea you have or whatever decision you want to make, put your decisions aside first. You can tell God what you want to do. But don't have an end decision or an end idea or an end outcome already there that you want God, you want God to pick this answer. It should be a yes. No, you go to God with an empty heart. Go to God with a clean slate, an empty slate and let God just draw. Let him just design your life for you. He's the best person to do that for you, not any other person. And so I'm encouraging somebody out there today. You can heal from whatever it is. You guys, it's, it's so sad that a lot of Christians underrate the power of, you, you, you underestimate the power of God. God is powerful. God is, God is a healer. He's Jehovah Rapha for a reason. He's a healer. It's, when they talk about healing, most times Christians only think, oh, God heals only cancer. God can heal your disease. He can heal your sickness. No, he can also heal your broken heart. He can heal that emotional Emotional, emotional problems, those deep issues of your heart, those are the places Jesus goes to and he fixes up. Your doctor cannot do that. Your medicine cannot do that. Your therapist can help you get there. But for a wholesome healing, you do it through Jesus Christ. And that was how God saved me. Now I have a more defined relationship with the Lord. I'm a praying woman now, and I love that so much for me. Now I'm a woman who does not do anything by her own might or by her power, but by the Spirit of God. I'm a woman that acknowledges that the Word of God is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path, as it says in Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. I am, I am, I am, I am leaning towards being an embodiment of a Proverbs 31 woman. That is, that is my aim. That's my goal for this new year as I'm stepping into my birthday. And it's, it's been a beautiful journey. And I'm so excited I'm back here because I'm going to be talking more about it as time goes on in different videos. And it's gonna be about different topics, about my experiences. I feel like my experiences and my pain has redirected me to my purpose. Now I understand what my purpose is because this pain really transformed me. Like it did something new to my spirit. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited that I'm going to be sharing so much. And by God's grace and by the, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to be inspiring a lot of people. So guys, this is just um, a little bit about what my life has been in the last one year. And I'm celebrating one year post being suicidal <laughs> and I'm so happy to be part of a generation of young people that are living for Christ, that are living for God. I'm happy that God chose me, God found me worthy and God just delivered me from a situation I thought I would never come out from. I'm, like I said, I'm happy to be part of this generation. Like it says in Psalms 24, this is the generation of they that seek him. 
of they that seek that face of Jacob. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, and the Lord mighty in battle. I'm happy to be part of that generation, and I pray that God gives me the fire to keep going, to keep inspiring, to keep encouraging through the Holy Spirit. So that's why I'm here. So now you guys already know that on this YouTube channel, Initially, the plan was fitness, photography, lifestyle, travel. But guess what? We are adding Christian content, inspirational content. And this is basically inspiration from the Holy Spirit. As the Spirit leads, I will come and I will share. That is how we are going to be rolling henceforth. And you know, the Bible says in Luke, to whom much is given, much is expected. God did not give me all these gifts to be sleeping in my house. See, I can do so many things. I don't know. I feel like God just gave me so much gifts. I can do so much. I can sing. I can dance. I can act. I can snap picture. You already know. I'm a professional photographer. I can do so much. I'm a fitness enthusiast. I'm good at the gym. I mean, I added small weight. It's, I call it happy weight. I added small, just small, teeny, bitty weight. You guys may see that in the pictures. But... We are back full on to take over the year. So I am excited to be doing my birthday shoot today, like I said. So this is the look I'm gonna be using for my birthday shoot. My birthday is in a few days, February 3rd. And my photographer is Lucas. You guys already know Lucas. Lucas did my 30th birthday shoot. I posted that two years ago. I can't believe that was two years ago. See, I'm old. And the pictures turned out great. His handle is gonna be on the screen. And my makeup is by Cheese Glam. Cheese gets my face all the time. She did my makeup last year for my birthday shoot and it was so pretty. And she did this one too. I love it so much. I'm rocking my natural hair as a natural hair princess. And what else? The vendor that sold these clothes to me, she gave me a very tough time. So I'm not going to tag her. I'm not going to talk about her. But yeah, I'm just going to wear this dress. So the theme of my shoot is rebirth. Um, I had this idea sometime last year ending of last year that my shoot this year, I want to be in all white and I want to shoot in a white backdrop. I just wanted the shoot to look glorious and beautiful and look like an African princess, you understand? So that's just the basic idea of what the shoot is going to be like. And yeah, you guys should stay tuned because at the end of this video, you're going to see what the picture looks like. So yeah, thanks for coming back <laughs> to my channel to watch my video. Please subscribe if you are a first timer. For returning subscribers, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. By God's grace, I will be consistent. See, now I'm working with the Holy Spirit. I'm not using canal man. I'm not using my flesh. The Holy Spirit inspires and we move. So now consistency is going to be key. I put it on God. I put it on God. Consistency is going to be key. Please, I'm not going to fail you guys. I know a lot, a lot has to be said. A lot has to be done. See, we are moving the kingdom of God forward. So we have to work. We cannot be sleeping. We have to work. So yes, I'm going to do that. And yeah, follow my Instagram, Reality Photography. You guys must know, must have known that by now, but I mean, it's on the screen. The only really on my personal page where I post mostly fit fitness, travel content and all that. So I pray that by the grace of God, this is going to be a beautiful year. As I'm entering my birthday, I pray that, you know, things are going to be happening and I'll be sharing as we go. Exciting things for sure. And yeah, I'll be happy if you guys, you know, share your comments, what you'd like to see. Give the video a thumbs up if it inspired you in any way. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye. <laughs>
section how the shoot went and the results of the pictures. See you guys in my next video. Bye. The original bye now. Bye. <laughs>